Feel Good Breakfast Show. Indeed, this is Expresso. Now, we're coming to you live from our penthouse studios, and it makes me think that not everyone has the privilege of an inspiring view when it comes to the office. In fact, we have amazing views, not just the sea, but also views of the mountain. And some of the jobs out there have amazing views, too. Imagine being in the workplace and being fortunate enough to see some amazing things around you. Well, too. this is exactly the, 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 the position we in, actually, because every morning we get to wake up, we see Table Mount in the background, we <laughs> yes. see Signal Hill. It is absolutely phenomenal. So it inspired us to take a look at some of the most awesome office spaces out there, All right? So I think the first one, nature. I mean, who inspired by nature? There you can see the picture. I mean, this is a, a studio of the Selgas Cana architecture in Madrid, Spain. It serves the inspiration for all who work there because kind of half the office is underground and um, the other half is like a glass ceiling, bringing nature closer to the employees. I mean, just look at that. Would you would you love to work in that? I would love to yeah. work in nature. You see it. Very it, cool. It, it feels almost as if you're in a glass house, as if you're nee. as if you're deal funny time self is. Well, imagine working working in an aquarium, huh? Nice. So uh, whether you love the ocean or whether you love the animals, I think it's probably the ultimate office space. So whether you are a guide, I reckon even if you feed the sharks, man, <laughs> you're <laughs> in the perfect view to have an entertained yeah. space where you can work in. I but think there's that's something really so relaxing beautiful. about being in an aquarium as well. Imagine just working there. I mean, you can actually get some work done. Fish therapeutic. Okay, <laughs> so the next one, aerial officers, all right? I think pilots are one of the best officers in the world. Now, there's this one guy, he's a Spanish Spanish pilot Jordi yeah. Garcia. Now he's decided to make the most of the opportunity of his, you know, of his career. And over the past 15 years, he's been photographing all kinds of different locations, from clouds to snow-capped mountains, wow. uh, cities. And I mean, I mean, what a portfolio! At the end of the day, to sit down and say, like, listen, this is what I've seen from my office. I also know that this guy also uses wow. it to educate all the other students that want to be in the same position. So, so he uses it for academic reasons and yeah. for universities. But imagine being a window washer. I mean, <laughs> the view. Awesome. you get when you're yeah. on the highway and you see these high buildings with little people holding on for dear life but just think of the amazing views that they have as a window washer so it might be the perfect job for you if you uh, have the courage yeah. and also if you want to see some amazing views you're Sheesh. pulling your face I am because you know what I'm, I'm quite the adrenaline junkie and I think this is something you would do as as a fun day out you know trying to get the adrenaline I mean, go hang down a hundred story building Can you imagine everyone else's faces when you're in the building and you see a window washer Ooh, outside man. your building and you're on like the 27th floor but exactly anyway. crazy stuff so great views <laughs> but i think the ultimate office space ever must be the space station wow right, the space station only a handful of people have ever been there astronauts but i think i think we can't argue that this is probably the ultimate office space to work in thank you this is a profession that you amper think is unbereikbar so yeah. how do the man a man? man? You know what I mean? This is something that I want to do. Yeah, but... I want to go, I want to go float around the, in, in the International Space Station and just, you know, have a, have a good time, I guess. I think as a kid, we all wanted to be an, an astronaut <laughs> at some stage. Well, I know of one guy that just, he is no, he's not even scared of adrenaline or even <laughs> uh, getting out there and being adventurous. I'm talking about Graham. Now, yesterday we saw him do some crazy stuff and today he's taking on another challenge. In fact, I think what he's trying to preach is the fact that we should take on some Thing every day that scares us a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if I'm, yeah, that's my resolution, but he's quite good at it. Take a look. 